Hello and welcome to today, today's uh, final show of the fall semester of Ferris Sports Update. I'm Rob Bentley and thanks for tuning in. On today's show, we'll talk play, playoff football here in the postseason and we'll also check in with Bulldog basketball. We'll start first though with Bulldog football and joined by head coach Tony Anise. Coach, welcome back. Uh, another week and another win here in the Division II playoff. Yeah, another week, another win. And so uh, down to the semifinals, um, we just count it down. So, you know, we talked to the kids about, you know, there's 28 to begin with and now we're down to the final four and, and uh, you know, pretty, pretty great accomplishment. Back to the cold weather after a warm week uh, here uh, down in Arkansas and a, a great trip for the Bulldogs. It was, you know, it was incredible, uh, uh, awesome experience. You know, we got to, got to see, uh, you know, one of my college friends, uh, beautiful complex and, and then going to Washita Baptist, uh, you know, their campus, um, you know, the people were so nice to us and treated us so, so well that, uh, you know, our kids felt like, wow, I mean, people are really nice down here. I'm, Hopefully they learned, you know, that that's kind of how you want to be and be respectful to others because I thought our kids, you know, really felt respected uh, in their experience down there. As we go to some of the highlights, national quarterfinal game and a battle of two unbeaten teams uh, against Washita Baptist that came in uh, after a great year. Yeah, you know, they had a great year. They uh, were undefeated, uh, you know, GAC champions. Um, you know, we, we had already played Harding, who had... Uh, you know, lost to Washita seven to three. So uh, we knew they were a great opponent, and uh, we had a fast start, and we played very well. Obviously, uh, win the factor here in the ball game, and uh, you got the win uh, in your, to your advantage uh, here in the first half. Yeah, we did. I was kind of concerned here uh, to try to make something happen. You can see there's only 324 on the in the first quarter there, but uh, Keandre's first carry of the of his life here at at Ferris State, and he made a great run, and then Derry Portis uh, took it in there and. We scored and then, uh, you know, we were able to score again um, before, you know, the quarter ended, uh, or right as the quarter ended, we blocked a punt and, and that was critically Robert, important. Robert Thomas the third, right there with the touchdown. Here's the, the block kick uh, from mm -hmm. Issa Khalil and able to put an extra man up there with nobody back. Yeah, huge, huge play there. Actually, those play, those plays uh, kind of out of order there, but um, yeah, Issa's huge play there uh, against the wind and, uh, and then the touchdown um, to give us a 14-0 lead. 357 yards rushing. Uh, talk about the play of the offensive line. Yeah, it's been a strong point in the last couple weeks now. You know, it was, uh, you know, it, it's, it's nice to be able to run the ball like that. We've been in the 300s two weeks in a row against, you know, nationally ranked defenses. So we got another one coming this week, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Here, a big interception defensively by Sam Hybor, who had a great game for you. He did. You know, this is a big interception right before half. And then uh, Jay Rue found, uh, Found Cy uh, right before half, like uh, nine seconds before half for a big touchdown and and then uh, a 27 to nothing lead. Here Evan Cummins with another touchdown in the second half and uh, got a 37 to 14 win. Got to feel good with the, the way your guys play. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Evan, uh, you, know, you know, we played four quarterbacks and uh, that's pretty cool. And Evan got a touchdown and Travis played really well. Obviously, Jay Rue came back from injury and was exceptional. And then Brett Mooney's... Uh, you know, the best best player and best human being we have uh, on our team, just a great young man. And uh, so all four of those guys, three running backs, um, you know, I think we had 30 offensive players play in the game. Um, so when you're in a quarterfinal game and you're playing that many players, uh, it's only bodes well for, for our future development as well. You win the Super Region 3 championship and a tough three-game grind uh, through maybe one of the toughest regions in the country. Yeah, it was an incredible grind. You know, when you go back and look at the, you know, the seven teams and on our side of the bracket, you're like, wow, you know, we, we won that thing. So, you know, for the second time in three years, so we feel very proud of our achievements. Um, you know, I told our guys, uh, you know, anybody that's played here three years has played four, four years worth of football now because we've already played we're going on our 11th game um, in the last three years, our 11th game of playoff football. So, so you know, that's the equivalent of four, four seasons in three years, which is pretty incredible. This week, uh, national semifinals uh, here for the second time in three years, third time in school history, and a tough challenge ahead in Minnesota State. Oh, absolutely. You know, they're always tough. Uh, you know, now everybody's undefeated, and we faced an undefeated opponent last week. And, and so uh, it's going to be a challenge. Um, we go to Mankato. Um, you know, it's going to be... Uh, Looks like the weather's going to be cold but sunny. Um, you know, we're used to cold here, so uh, even though we like the warm um, of Arkansas, you know, we're, we're prepared to go into uh, those conditions. They're a great, great opponent. They've been number one all year long. 
Um, we've been number two most of the season in the uh, you know the AFCA, but uh, they're they're a powerhouse, um, very well coached, and play really hard, and uh, it's going to be a huge challenge for us. Obviously, uh, going on the road here in the playoffs, you've had a lot of su success on the road. Uh, what does it take to win road games like this uh, in Division Two football? Well, we're just uh, we're a gritty group. I keep on saying it, but we are gritty, and so they're gritty too. Um, you know. They're, they're, they're a gritty group as well, but uh, we go on the road and we play uh, as well, if not better, than we, than we do at home. Um, you know, it's, it's nice to get away a little bit sometimes, be at the hotel together and, and have the meals together, you know, when we're home. Sometimes, you know, you know where are they on Thursday or Friday evening? It's, it's a question mark or what are they eating? Um, you can't control those things. So at least when you're on the road, you've got, you know, controllable circumstances. And, uh, you know, you, you just basically build a schedule that, you know, allows you to, to have access to the players when you need to have access to them. And, and then they can relax and, and have, a, you know, a, a good time while we're there. And, and that's how we were last weekend. Already a school record, 14 wins, uh, nation leading 14 wins. Uh, just talk about that 14 and 0 mark, what it takes to do that each and every week. Yeah, it's kind of funny you said that. I just I started looking at people's records. I'm like, boy, nobody's, nobody's won 14 games in the whole nation. And so, well, wow, that's, a, that's an unbelievable thing for Ferris State to be able to say that. And, and just proud, you know, proud of uh, what our young men have, have uh, um, you know, been able to produce and, and, and proud of our coaching staff. And, you know, we, we started basically uh, with a coach's retreat in, the, in late July. And uh, <laughs> we're in December here now and, and rolling uh, into December 8th in a game. And, and so... You know, nobody else in the state of Michigan, other Lions, are playing right now, and and some of them have bowl games, but not playing right away. So uh, we're we're going to be one of the uh, you know few shows uh, on ESPN this weekend. So hopefully, if you're not there, you can uh, you know get it get it on TV. I know you're focused on this game ahead, one game at a time. What would it mean though to get a win and, and play for a national championship? Yeah, focus on one game at a time. So you can ask me that <laughs> next week uh, how I feel if we're able to move forward, but. Uh, this is a huge challenge for us. Our guys know it. You know, we were there two years ago and, and fell in a tough ball game to Northwest Missouri State, who was the eventual national champion. But uh, you know, we're 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 focused on uh, you know giving giving our best effort uh, this week in practice and being prepared to be, you know, the the best team we can be on Saturday. Finally, you mentioned uh, all that playoff experience. How, how does that help you going into a game like this? I think uh, I think we're battle tested. I think our guys uh, have the right frame of mind. Um, you know, we won last Saturday, and I, I'm just looking around thinking, are, are we happy that we won? I mean, it, it was just like our guys are just so, you know, just taking it in. Um, we're playing at the highest level we've played. I feel we're at the top of our game. You know, last week we didn't have a turnover, and, and all the things that we did in all aspects of, of the three phases were really good. And so, uh, you know, I think we just need to be who we are, you know, keep on per performing the way uh, we're performing. Jay Rue coming back was huge. Um, you know, I give him credit. You know, he, he was out without practice for all of last week and then for two days this past week. And so, so it's two weeks basically out of practice. And, and he, he was masterful at knowing the game plan, which means that, you know, he, he didn't shut it down mentally, even though physically he had to shut it down a little bit. So proud of that attitude and the way all of our guys have been in regards to their preparation. Well, Coach, congratulations again, and uh, best of luck here as you travel to Minnesota State this weekend for the national semifinal. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate it. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.